Drummond long. 18, throw it down! Davis, mid-range magic for AD. This four games earlier, Davis got it! There's a three for AD. Alex, kick. KCP short. So the Lakers can't put it on. Davis selling out. Time out. The and they call the timeout. What an effort by AD. Bouncing out of Cuso. Live. Oh, throw it down, AD. Exclamation point tonight for the Lake Show. AD dominant. Big win for the Lake Show. Good day. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into First Take on a Monday. Hope you all had a fabulous weekend, and we got a whole lot to break down. Super Bowl champ Chris Panty in the house. Good to see you, sir, and for Stephen A. Thanks Last for having me in here. You. Oh, it's going to be plenty oh, of fun. Super Bowl champ with Buckle big up. blue, Molly. With oh, big sure. blue. No question. That's why you got the invite. Max <laughs> Kellerman and Big Perk with us right now. Perk, you got us? Yeah, I got you. What's going on? Good morning. I see all everybody right. up there looking good. Looking good on this great Monday morning. How you doing, Max? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. And we're going to start with the Lakers get getting a major win finally over the Suns as they try to avoid that playing tournament. Anthony Davis putting the team on his shoulders. 42-12-5. and LeBron still sidelined with a high ankle sprain but could be back this week. Here's AD and head coach Frank Vogel. I feel good. I uh -uh. I'm getting my legs back. I'm getting my rhythm back. Um, I'm getting my, my steps back on both ends of the floor. So I feel good. I'm getting better um, each game, I'm getting my win back each game. Um, so we're heading in the right direction. All that other stuff is just trying to, you know, trying to patch it together, you know, while we're getting our stars back healthy and, and uh, you know, with their legs under them and rhythm and timing up to speed. And, and you see Anthony just getting a little bit stronger uh, every game. A uh, little bit more in rhythm every game and uh, just a sensational performance by Anthony tonight. All right, let me break this down for you. So the Lakers are currently seventh in the West. Four games left. Knicks, Rockets, Pacers, Pelicans. One game back of the Trailblazers for six. But the Blazers on the tiebreaker, so it's really two games. They have a three-game lead on the Warriors, who are in eighth. The Lakers entered yesterday's game with an 82% chance to make the play-in tournament, and that dropped them to 71% after the win. If they want the chances to continue to fall, Anthony Davis is going to have to continue to be the monster he was last night. Max Kellerman, yep. talk to me. When healthy, is AD the best big in the world? I don't know about that anymore. I don't know. When last seen healthy, he was. But two things have happened since then. Not only did he get hurt, so now we need to see him consistently be what he was, which was the dominating force on both ends of the floor. But another thing happened, too. The other bigs got better. Forget about Giannis, who's you know, third consecutive year. He's basically doing the same thing that he did when he won the two MVPs because he really is a big. And AD's a power forward. Giannis is whatever you want to call him. By big, I mean you protect the basket. Right? You do that, you grab the rebounds, and you could be a power forward. If you protect the basket, you're a big. And my point is this. Joel Embiid and Jokic both are clearly better than they've ever been before, and they were already playing on a high level. So first of all, we have to see if AD can get back consistently to being AD. And then we need to see if that AD is still better than this Embiid, who's been... You, Embiid, game for game, has been the best player in the league this year. He's been the best, both ends of the floor, game for game, but he's been hurt. And Jokic about to win the MVP because he hasn't missed the games. And overall, he's been the best player in the league because he hasn't missed those games. Is AD still better than that? That's what we need to find out. Yeah, here's typical Max. He's going to deflect. He's not going to answer the, directly, the question directly. It's about whether or not Anthony Davis is the best big man when he's healthy. And the answer is he is. And you have to look back to what he did last year, not only what he did in the bubble what during the regular season. You're talking about a guy that's top five in terms of PER. You're talking about a guy that's first team All-NBA defense, first team All-NBA, period. Like this guy, the way he impacts the game, he put it on display last night against a team that's second in the Western Conference in the Phoenix Suns. You saw him with the back-to-the-basket moves. You saw him with the mid-range game. He was even hanging out as that kid in the corner, knocking him down from deep. 
And then you saw what he did on the defensive end. You saw that block that he had against Jay Crowder. He's showing you that he's starting to feel like himself. And when it comes to Anthony Davis, it's not just about the statistics in terms of quantifying his impact on his team winning, ga winning games. It goes beyond that. Anthony Davis just showed you last year what he's capable of, what he's playing, and he showed it again last night. He's taking that mantle on himself. He knows they got four games to go. They probably need to go 4-0, and they need the Portland Trailblazers to stumble if they want to avoid the play-in. But you're seeing him clearly tick it up a notch, and I think that's, that's indicative of players that are truly great, and Anthony Davis is that guy. I think he's still the best big in the NBA when he's healthy. Hey, Chancey, don't, 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 you, don't you body Max like that. Zip him up. That's what he just did. He zipped you up. And he's right. Look, Max, the question was when healthy. When you look at what Anthony Davis does when he's healthy, we're talking about historical numbers like Shaq and Will. Anthony Davis is one of one, okay, Max? He's probably going to go down as the most skilled big ever, right under Akeem Olajuwon, all above him, especially at the power four position. He can put it on the floor. He has great handle. He has great mid-range. He got great post work. He got great step back, fadeaways, off of, turnarounds off of each shoulder. And on the defensive end, Candy, Canty just said it. He impacts the game better than any other big in the game today. We're talking about the, the block on Jay Crowder. Look at, go back and look at the Denver Nuggets game. The game winning block that he stretched out when he was already in the paint and had to extend. Like, he impacts the game so much. And when you talk about Jokic and MB, they are having phenomenal years. But when you look at Anthony Davis, he just separates himself for his athleticism, the way he is able to play the four and the five, the way that he's able to be a live threat at the basket. And I get it. You may say Jokic is a better passer, and he might be, but he's in a I different think. system where the system has to be around Jokic, where Jokic has to be the playmaker. So, yes, when healthy, Anthony Davis is the best big man in the game, look, and he proved that to us last year, and he started, Max, he's starting look, to show that to us yeah, right Max. now. How many guys are ahead of AD? Is it just we, the we, Joker? We, like right now, who yeah. he has to prove he's better than is Jokic, which he did in the playoffs last year. Yep. Jokic is a one-way player. AD is a two-way player. And Embiid. Embiid's, team's got, you know, Embiid's team is sitting, on, is, is sitting pretty in the East, even though he's mm -hmm. missed those games. And partly it's because he has been arguably the defensive player of the year. Like, he's in the conversation. And offensively, on a per-game basis, you could argue he's also the player. Like, if you're best on both ends of the floor, MVP. who's better than you? So it's not just that AD has to get back. It's that now he has to clear a bar that is higher. Now, you guys can talk about, like, oh, I heard in those arguments is you guys just assert. No, we think AD is better. Well, why would that be if the bar has been raised? First of all, passing, AD can pass. Jokic is some next-level passer. And shooting, what we're, what, what, he deserves credit, AD, for stepping up his shooting game in the playoffs last year. But he's never shot the ball like that. That was like, he has to show he can do that again. That's not, when you think AD, you don't think he can shoot from the outside like that. That's not how he's done it traditionally throughout his career. He was killing him from three. He doesn't do that normally. He's got like, are you sure that that's AD? Because he did it one season in the bubble. He's got to do that again. We know Jokic can bomb from the outside. Well, here's the thing. Well, here's the thing. Go ahead, Cannon. Go ahead. Well, no, go ahead. When a player shows me that they're doing it at the most important moments, which is the postseason, I'm going to go ahead and assign that to them. Like, I'm going to believe what AD showed me in the bubble. That's when the stakes are at the highest. Like, he's proven that he can be a player of that caliber at the, at the most important time for his team. Have we seen that from Jokic yet? We're still waiting on that. I know it's some gaudy numbers. I know he leads his team in points, rebounds, and assists. All of that is well and good. But what happens when it matters the most? What happens once we get to the postseason? Pretty good from last what year. We, from what we saw from AD last year, being able to be a defensive anchor for that team, and Max, you talked about it, being on the defensive end, what he does as a player matters in this conversation as well. Like, I, I don't know how you can say when he's healthy that he's not the best big in the game. And, and Ken, you just pulled – a Max Kellerman on Max Kellerman because he's what, the one that point? always – No, no, because oh, you oh. always come on here talking about how the regular season really don't